to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a very quick yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. That means no situation cards, just the transparent tarot with a quick yes or no. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people asking lots of questions. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terriesinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's quick yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the smoky quartz, reading number two with the black kyanite, reading number three with the black tourmaline, reading number four with the clear quartz, and reading number five with the rainbow obsidian. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now, so I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the Smoky Quartz. Your first message of the reading is to let it go. So whatever it is, it's time to let it go. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, so that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the lovers. The lovers talks about romantic soulmates, finding a romantic soulmate, things progressing with a romantic soulmate. Typically, it relates to romantic soulmates. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles talks about opportunity that's further out in front of you. So there is material opportunity there, but it's a little ways out. You got to be patient. Next, we have Death. Death talks about the end of something for the start of something new. So something coming to an end, maybe whatever it is you need to let go, and something new starting. Now, the new energy may be this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles can talk about significant abundance. It also talks about a person sometimes. If it does, this is the person that wants to be called to take care of everybody, just wants to be the one that can take care of the situation. Next, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about situations moving very, very quickly, things happening quickly, and um, it can even relate to spirit guide messages coming in quickly. Topping everything off, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands talks about stepping into your true, authentic energy, being who you are, dancing to your own drummer, you know, that sort of energy, being yourself. All right, looking at this as a yes or no, I know we have the death card in there, but we also have the lovers and the king of pentacles and the queen of wands and um, really positive, fast moving energy. I feel like the answer to your question is most likely yes. Probably dealing with an ending or you need to let go of something to start a new beginning, but the answer to your question is most likely yes. All right, that's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button 
Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the black kyanite. Your first message of the reading is to set strong boundaries. So make sure you are putting those strong boundaries in place to protect your energy. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number two. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to their questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. We start with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance coming in. Normally, pretty significant abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. Next, we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords talks about a stalemate, some situation you can't quite see your way out of. Next, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands talks about stepping into your true, authentic energy, being yourself, um, really focusing on your passions, your path. Next, we have the magician. The magician talks about manifesting, really um, focusing on your skills, your talents, your gifts, and manifesting the life that you desire, putting the energy out there to draw it back in from the universe. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, we do have that two of swords in there that's talking about some sort of stuck stalemate energy. Everything else very positive says you're going to manifest things. So make sure you're manifesting what you desire. Make sure you're in your authentic energy. Um, looking at this as a yes or no, this looks like a pretty solid yes to whatever you asked Arrow. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the black tourmaline. Your first message of the reading is to protect your energy. So make sure that you are doing whatever is necessary to protect your energy. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number three thank you thank you thank you all right so i'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready then i will cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards that will get us our yes or no answer all right let's see here okay that's good we'll get this to hold the cards Okay, so we start with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords talks about stuck energy. Um, really stuck energy, not being able to move forward, kind of being routed where you are. Next, we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords talks about taking rest, uh, making sure you're getting some rest, taking care of your body, kind of taking a pause, stepping back, giving things some time. And then topping everything off, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about looking back, seeing your growth, seeing how far you've come. It can also talk about reconnecting to your past, uh, to your past in some way, maybe your childhood, maybe not that far back, but reconnecting to your past. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Looking at this, it looks like the answer to your question is most likely no, or at least not right now. You've got the energy of taking a pause, the energy of reflecting in the Six of Cups, and then a really stuck energy in that Eight of Swords. I feel like the answer is either no or not right now to whatever you ask Tarot. 
Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the clear quartz. Your first message of the reading is to get crystal clear. So make sure your question is clear. Make sure you're clear with yourself. Um, very crystal clear energy. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, so we'll go once more. There we go. Okay, we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, we start with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles talks about abundance and it talks about generosity with that abundance. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't have to be super abundant. She shares what she has no matter how much she has. Very sharing, compassionate energy. Next, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks about unity, good news on the horizon, and travel. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks about your material situations being stable, says you don't need to cling to that money. You need to let it flow in and out like it needs to so you don't create any abundance blockages. Next, we have the Queen of Cups that talks about emotional maturity. It can represent a person just like the Queen of Pentacles. And if it does, it's someone who's very emotionally capable, not someone who hides from their emotions, but someone who can process their emotions and work through them. Next, we have the star that is healing and a gift from the divine. And topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups, which talks about a peaceful, happy home life and can represent moving sometimes. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, this is all incredibly positive. It looks like the answer to your question is a pretty solid yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Rainbow Obsidian. Your first message of the reading is to heal your heart. So whatever it is you are doing, make sure that some heart healing is involved in it. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, once more, let's see here. There we go, okay. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate guiding you forward. It says that you are um, kind of guided by the forces of the universe in a lucky, positive way. Now, this also can represent some healing because it's represented by a medicine wheel in this deck. Next, we have the moon. The moon can talk about fear around decisions and um, the need to make a decision anyway. It can also say that your guides are talking to you through your dreams. So make sure you pay attention to what you're dreaming. 
Next, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands says something is starting that you're quite passionate about. Lots of passion energy in this new beginning and things just kind of taking off, moving quickly. Topping everything off, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance coming in. Normally significant abundance with the Ten of Pentacles and um, very um, a very solid abundance that is stepping into your realm. All right, looking at this as a yes or no, this looks like a yes to whatever you asked Arrow. You do have to make a decision involved in it somehow, but it does look like the answer to your question is yes. All right, that's all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.